Hey guys, this is Betty from Switch and Click. Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about the best 65% keyboards of 2020. We'll be going over a list of five different keyboards, but first let's talk about what our 65% keyboard. Well, you've probably seen the little tiny 60% keyboards with no arrow keys, no number pad, and no function row. So let's add a few keys to that, and those are the arrow keys, and a few of the side keys depending on what keyboard you get. So a 65% keyboard is basically you have the regular full size keyboard, you take away the number pad, you take away the function row, and you take away home and delete page up. Maybe depending on what you get. But what you still have are the alphanumeric keys, the modifiers, and the arrow keys. So for me personally, this is the smallest that I will go down to because I like dedicated arrow keys. If you're okay with using a different layer to access your arrow keys, you can use a 60%. And then if you really need some of those other options, maybe a 10 keyless or a full size keyboard might be better for you. But let's jump into the five different keyboards that we want to show you guys today. And these are all going to be pre-assembled or ready to make or like build your own keyboard kits kind of thing. Another uh, one downside about 65% keyboards is they tend to have a non-standard bottom row. So you might need to check before you consider buying keycap sets for them. First keyboard we're going to talk about is the Ducky 1 SF. And the SF, or the Ducky 1 2 SF, and the SF here stands for 65. This keyboard is currently selling for $109 on Amazon. It comes in two colorways, black or white. And both colors have double shot PBT keycaps, which are very sturdy and long lasting. And they don't give you that nasty plastic grime me look. The switch options are Cherry MX Black, Blue, Red, Brown, and Silver, and Silent Reds. It has an ABS plastic case. It's really light and a little bit flexible to, due to that plastic case. From the top view looking down, you see that the keyboard is fully black if you're buying the black version. And then it has a bottom bezel that's white that you can see from the side or the front. So it's a little bit more aesthetic than usual 65% keyboards. It has a USB-C connector cable on the left side. There's four rubber feet and it has Kick, two kickstands with two different angle adjustments. Like many other 65% keyboards, this one has a non-standard bottom row like we discussed before. Alongside the keyboard and the keycap puller, you also get some customized keycaps that Ducky sends you, including a space bar, and it looks pretty awesome. Ducky is a well-recognized brand within the mechanical keyboard community and I highly recommend this keyboard if you're looking for a 65%. The second keyboard is a Magic Force 68 keyboard. This means that it has 68 keys and switches. This is an all white keyboard with black legends. Currently on Amazon, it's $40 and has Oatemu brown switches, which are MX style equivalent switches. Currently with 277 ratings, it has a four star review on Amazon. This keyboard has a floating keycap style design, which lets you see the switches and RGB lighting very clearly. It also has four rubber feet and two kickstands with a flat and then a single angle adjustment. It has a plastic case, but it has an aluminum finish top plate. It has a micro USB cable instead of USB-C. The cable is removable, so you can get yourself a custom USB cable, but it has to be micro USB. One benefit of this keyboard is that it has a fully standard bottom row, which means you can change up the key keycaps without worrying at all. So this keyboard has a limited set of RGB lighting. It basically, it doesn't have RGB lighting. It has blue and orange. I think one side is orange and the other is blue, but it still looks very pretty with the floating key style design. The keycaps are made of ABS plastic with double shot molding. I personally am not a fan of the legends on these keycaps, but other people have said that it looks pretty cool. The brand Magic Force is engraved in the aluminum top plate 
right above the arrow keys. So this keyboard has a little bit more empty space than other 65% keyboards that we've seen. And then the legends for the second layer is printed in a dark gray color on the white keycaps. It can be a little bit difficult to see depending on the lighting and the keycaps are smooth and not textured at all, which for some of you might be awesome. But for me, I prefer a little bit of texture for some grippiness. For the third $40 price tag on this keyboard, it actually has a bunch of features. $40 is really inexpensive for a mechanical keyboard. It also has three dip switches on the back that allows you to change the modifier buttons based on what you want. The first one swaps the caps lock and the left control. The second dip switch switches the windows key with the function key and the last one it locks the windows key. The third keyboard we're talking about is the Akko 3068 or 3068. This one comes in different color keycaps depending on what you want. I've seen Sakura Blossom ones, blue ones, so it really just depends on where you're buying them and the price ranges depending on what you get as well. Currently on Amazon, this keyboard comes with the clicky blue switches and it ranges from $99 to $110. You can get these on Amazon, mechanicalkeyboards.com, and other sites if you can find them. This keyboard has 68 keys, hence the 68 in the name, and it also has a USB-C connection. Although the ones on Amazon have the blue switches, you can find these keyboards that offer different Cherry MX switches in them as well from other sources. It has a fully plastic case with rubber feet on the bottom and it has no flip out kickstands. You're stuck with one angle but it's a little bit raised for a comfortable typing position. One benefit is that it can be used wirelessly or wired using Bluetooth technology. You can connect up to three devices. It has PBT caps in a Cherry profile with die sublimated legends. Wireless mode, it's advertised to last up to 120 hours. That's a whole lot of hours. The reason for this is because there's no backlight and no RGB light. Overall, this keyboard's really beautiful and nice and it's really affordable for what it is. It comes with a nice feature of being wireless as well as wired. Um, but the next keyboard we'll be looking at is very similar to this one, but it has better legend. All right, the fourth keyboard we're talking about is the Tata 68. And this doesn't come pre-assembled. This is something that you're going to have to put a little bit of handiwork in, but it does come ready as a keyboard kit. So you don't need to do as much soldering. So maybe on certain websites, you can get the Tata 68 fully assembled, but I think mostly right now it is available as a kit. However, the fully assembled version comes with PBT keycaps and die sublimated legends. It has a plastic case, but the top plate is aluminum and it may be prone to a little bit of scratching. You can buy this keyboard on KBD fans from $99 to $119, depending on what switches you pick. And the switch options range from Gateron blacks, reds, browns, or blues. Any of these switches would be $99, but you can also pick the Cherry MX switches and those will be $119, which are a little bit pricier. The Gateron feel very similar to Cherry MX switches. These keyboards do not have any RGB lighting. They are very clean and very simple. If you look at the associated blog post below, we have pictures of each one of these keyboards that people have either customized a little bit or added their own flair. If you do choose to go the keyboard kit, you can choose from an aluminum case or a plastic case. The plastic one's $89 and the aluminum case would be $149. So to complete this kit, you would need to buy your own switches and your own LEDs if you choose to. One disadvantage to this keyboard is that users have complained that the TMK firmware, TMK firmware is a little bit difficult to use. So your first configuration of your keyboard will be a little bit difficult and not hassle-free. And it also has a non-standard bottom row. And then the last one we'll talk about is the Drop Alt mechanical keyboard. This one is $180 
orders on drop. Currently, it might be sold out, but they're always restocking or checking for interest or pre-ordering. It has a 4.5 star rating on drop with 358 reviews. Very highly rated keyboard, fully aluminum case, no plastic. Double shot PBT keycaps with see-through legends with the full fully programmable RGB lighting. Keyboard itself is also fully programmable. It has magnetic feet for kickstands. Also connects via USB-C connector on either the right or left side. It has a floating keycap design. So you get to see the switches and the RGB lights. The case itself is a dark silver and the keycaps are dark gray in various shades. It comes with a regular USB-C cable. It's not braided or anything. For the price, it is a little expensive but one really big benefit that this keyboard has that the others don't have is that it's fully hot swappable if you need to change any of the switches if they break or something there's no soldering needed you just pick it off and push something else back in super quick and super easy I would say that's one of the things that makes it worth it when you order you have different switch options from Kale, Halo Clears or Halo Trues and Cherry MX uh, but depending on availability some of those may be sold out. If you do choose the Cherry MX switches, it's $20 extra, raising the price to $200. You can also get additional special keycap sets for a small discount, but they're still very expensive. And those custom keycap sets that are available are the GMK Samurai, the MT3 Dev G, which is $70 extra, and the XDA Canvas, which is $65 extra. It's just an awesome keyboard. It can be a little expensive. They have the the floating keycap style one and they and then they also sell a high profile one which costs more at $230 so although it is expensive it does have really nice features and benefits it makes it easy to use so in summary we talked about what 65% keyboards are we talked about five different 65% keyboards out there that can come fully assembled or can come in a kit or bare bones if you choose to if you like these this video please press that thumbs up button press subscribe if you want to see more if not that's cool too we'll include a link to subscribe and then two other videos that we think you might like including a playlist playlist to some of our other best of 2020 videos thank you for watching bye check the link below for a blog thank you